Multi-peer connectivity is something that used to be awfully hard, but in iOS it's less than 150 lines of code to produce this entire app, and over half of that is code for the collection view and the image picker. The advantage it has compared to traditional data sharing over Wi-Fi is that multi-peer can use an existing Wi-Fi network or can silently create a new Wi-Fi network or even a Bluetooth network depending on what's available. All this is an implementation detail that Apple solves on your behalf. We don't have to care how it works. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, show an alert when a user has disconnected from our multi-peer network. Something like Paul's iPhone has disconnected is enough. Second, try sending text messages across the network. You can create a data instance from a string using data your string .utf8 and convert a data back to a string by using string decoding your data as utf8.self. And third, add a button that shows an alert controller listing the names of all devices currently connected to the session. Use the connected peers property of your session to find that information. 